Okay, so, all right, I look a bit orange because I don't have my regular makeup with me, but I'm going to get it later. Anyway, we have Barbie and the Nutcracker. This is the one in the box. Now, before everyone starts watching, there could possibly be some adult humor in this video, okay? So just letting you know. I mean, it's self-explanatory, Barbie and the Nutcracker. So, here she is in the box. The doll is available right now at Target.com. I do not know if she's a Target exclusive, but she has the same body as Barbie Extra. So, all of the Barbie Extra dolls have the exact same Barbie. Um, articulated wrist, elbows, this part. There's no articulation in here. Only do there. Beautiful, beautiful face. Ta-da! She has three colors of hair, platinum blonde, pink, and lavender hair. Also, jointed knees and, okay, no jointed ankles, but they're shaped like a high heel area, correct? Right. Well, of course, I'm better. I've been several days off of Trazodone, so, hello, that was not my best friend. <laughs> so, we have Barbie and the Nutcracker. Here's the one in the box. Here's the back of the packaging. Very cute, very, actually not even Christmassy. She's very, she looks like candy. Yes, she looks like candy. All the pretty colors of candy. Here she is out of the box. Yes, I have two. I was blessed with two of these little boogers. But um, she was made in Indonesia. But yeah, she's really pretty. She's quite pretty, darlings. Now, I do not have the original doll. Hi, Sabrina. I am doing fine. Um, Y'all can tell it's quite transparent. Big difference from some previous videos, which I did delete. My doctor did see them. I'm sorry. Trazodone was not my friend. Um, even two days after not taking it. So, it's all right. I'm here and I've got my coffee, darlings. But yes, beautiful Barbie and the Nutcracker. The only thing is, she doesn't have anything to crack any nuts that come with her. But she does come with ballerina shoes and a magical wand, and she comes with a pair of high heels. Yes, everyone, my hair is back black. It is black. It's black, it's black, and yes, it's just breaking off and dropping off in the sink, like whatever, and I'm just like, who cares? I can get a wig, just wear a wig for another year and a half and until I have long hair. So here she is out of her packaging. She's got her wand in hand, which is attached with rubber bands. Ta-da! And it's uh, kind of like a star, the one they usually make, like representing the star that Jesus was born. Um, she has a beautiful, beautiful crown. I love her tiara crown. Um, it could have been better. Oh, honey, I'm so over blonde. It's just, it, it's fine. I can be little mini younger Madonna, but not as a blonde. Anyway, this has butterflies. So it looks like butterflies. Now, the hair is platinum blonde. We have lavender and we have pink. So I do love the colors, I like the variant. The face is beautiful. Her face is gorgeous. Oh, great. I'm gonna turn my camera around so you can see her face. Well, the other doll, I think the original of the Nutcracker did have some eyeshadow. But still, look at her. Her face is gorgeous. I mean, she has beautiful eyes. Here, let me cut the light off behind her. There we go. Um, Her outfit feels like a paper version of silk. All right, come on, stay focused. So there, there she is. Yeah, she's got a pretty face. Her necklace. Oh, that is, and it ain't got nothing on it. Okay, my nails are bad. Okay, necklace is like a cheap rubber band. Um, her face is gorgeous. Tiara is cute. Now, when you compare this doll to the original Barbie and the Nutcracker that came out like many, many years ago, here are details of her outfit. 
Yeah, it's green printed, paper feeling, um, silk. Okay, so that's how her dress feels. Um, but the back is also like that. She is basically $17.99. The original Barbie and the Nutcracker cost about the same price. She was around $17.99, anywhere from that to $19.99. Came in a variety of gifts, gift sets. Um, I did not like the joints on the original as well because the legs were attached with elastic. So I like this body better than the original, except for one thing. Actually, no, no. I like the body on the original because I like the size of her bust. I like the way the bust was made. I like the way the waist was made because it was articulated. Um, the articulation was good. The only problem was with her feet. They should have given her legs similar to this with the extra high heels, but also with um, the shoes um, and articulated, fully articulated arms and elbows. So that would have been great if it was like that. Um, the other one was definitely more elegantly made. You definitely get a lot less for what the original cost. The hands on the original were definitely more graceful. These are like, I don't know, someone tried to make a pancake and then little pieces just went out. Yeah, doesn't quite look like a hand. Um, this part looks normal. This is too skinny. It doesn't mad up. So pancake hand. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. So I'm not in their developing department nor their um, design department. I'll take that back. I am in a design department for Mattel, but that's for 2023. Anyway, hi, New Zealand. I tell you, you just don't ever sleep, Richard, you poor thing. But um, I do love the heels. I wish it had an extra outfit. Um, I know these are the original Fashionista hands. That's when they developed these, the pancake can. I am fine, everyone. Again, I do apologize for what happened last week. I just had a manic episode. I had tried taking a new medication that obviously did not work well with me. Aside from a little emotional distress, um, let's just put it this way. The local authorities of Morgan, North Carolina are not my friend. And they lie. So, this doll, I do like the look. I think the eyes are much prettier. The skin color is much prettier. Um, I like the, uh, the legs. These are much better legs than the original. But the original had super long curls. This girl really doesn't look like a Nutcracker Barbie. This doll looks more like a Candy Princess Barbie. A Candy Princess. Absolutely. Yes, Candy Princess. I don't think of Barbie in the Nutcracker when I see this doll at all. Okay? So what I do see is a pretty princess ballerina Barbie. That is what I see. I know, I know, Emma. Thank you for that. Um, but this Barbie with this beautiful hair, and they got her in the box... The hair looks very thin, and it looks like it's just flying away. It's like, oh, okay, I'm not going to keep up with her body. I'm just going to fly away. But it looks good in the package. Okay, she's pretty. The only thing is her hair, it makes it look super thin. But when you take it out, some of them looks pretty thick. Um, it should be down this long. I think her hair should have been this long. I think that it should have been sort of like a then and now Barbie and the Nutcracker, where she had these beautiful hair colors, which are updated. That's that's what's happening nowadays. Um, she should have had the long hair down here with those gorgeous ringlet curls. She should have had a silver tiara that is a metallic silver. This should have also been metallic silver. Um, and this, this is supposed to be a necklace, like from what country, 
This is a round piece of plastic. Just stick it on your finger. It looks tacky. Yeah, it looks tacky. I'm looking at the doll without it. And here it is with it. So yeah, the necklace is tacky. Um, if I had spray paint, oh, Richard, you're such a sweetheart. I would spray paint her tiara and this silver to show you how good it could be. Oh, they spray her a scalp. Let me see. Oh, you done been digging all through this. Oh, they did. They painted purple, pink. Well, to make sure the person, while it was being rooted, would do it right. I am curious because the Barbie Rewind dolls have the old-fashioned, um, the old-fashioned hair rooting process. So I am curious to know if she has it. Yes, my hair is black. I did it yesterday. Yes, I got a lot of breakage. So what? They sell wigs. <laughs> and not wear them anyway. Um, but the doll, I love the body type, um, the Barbie, extra Barbie body. The reason why I like it is because the knees, this looks so much more attractive when she's standing. If she's going to bend from the side, it looks good. This is not way out here, so it's not going to poke. It's very smooth, very nice, smooth joints, very beautifully, elegantly, a beautiful leg. Girl, share your legs. I want plastic legs too. Barbie, just give me, just make me plastic. Just make, uh, but just let me keep this part. You can keep your mosquito bites. <laughs> I want to keep, I want to keep my melons. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I said this video would have some adult humor. Of course it does. Um, but yes, I like her legs. Um, and the only thing is with the joints, you have this. So I don't know. They did like Barbie in an action figure had a baby. So apparently Barbie and G.I. Joe had a baby and they named her Barbie. And that's who we have. Um, yes. So the face, I love the eyes. I love the eyebrows. Dixie is fine, everyone. I'm going to go pick her up this evening. My mother will be with me. So I will be returning with her, okay? So, yes. <laughs> look, got to be in Mr. Black. Well, I think it's because I have my own signature look. When people see me, they see me like this. It's this is who you are used to seeing on your screen or tablet or device. Um, so once you have that look, people are used to it. So and that's all. But I like her. I really like her. She stayed on my bed. This one did. Well, so did the other one. So I like the hair colors, but yes, if you're going to do Barbie and Nutcracker, come on, you got to make it better than the original. You can't come up with your dolls. You can't create or design a Barbie that's reminiscent of a line that you had before. And then you turn around and she's not at least inspired a little bit by the original. Um, you gotta have some of that there because how can this be 2021? And back in, was it 1999? They did the first Barbie and Nutcracker and this one, looks like a cheaper version you can't do that you better take a look at the original and when you come into 2021 you got to make it look better than the first one you put out around the same price period um but yes the first nutcracker she would have been fine if she had had um arched feet and shoes instead but her outfit was amazing it was beautiful it was real fabrics i know because i have her in her fb in the box and out of the box she had ultra long hair and curls her um wait wait the barbie rewinds or black cell friday on a black friday how much sorry i did just get cut off if you're going to tell us the Barbie Rewind dolls are going to be a Black Friday sale, you got to at least tell us how much and where. 
But anyway, she's pretty. This is Velcro, the original had Velcro, but and the original had, you know, this fabric. I do love the colors, but this to me is just not a ballerina. Well, the Christopher, look, Sephira, you're telling me wine dolls are on a Black Friday sale. What store and how much? But yeah, I like the hair colors, but she should have had long hair. Now, I have to say this one has better skin color. I love her skin color more. And her face is actually prettier. And so is her um her eyes. I mean, she she's prettier. She really is. But she needs the longer hair with the curls. Um, she should have had another outfit that was reminiscent of the original Nutcracker and the original had pantyhose. This one does not. Oh, she has another necklace. Okay, so I guess I threw it somewhere. It done fell off and went. The necklace she's wearing is round. Okay, that one is something you want to throw away. There is one that's like this. Now this should have been painted. It should have been metallic silver. Her wand should be metallic silver as well as her tiara. Absolutely. Crystal, you're not even responding to that. You probably have to look it up, don't you? Um, so what I do want to do is, because I'm nosy, of course I'm nosy, just like you. I am going to look and um Oh, when you push your head down, her eyes are crooked. So when you push it down. Ooh. Okay, I'm taking her head off. <gasps> oh, shoot. You know what? That was my fault. I accept it completely. So be warned. She may be made of recycled plastic that doesn't have strength. This wasn't supposed to happen. It's my fault. So I pulled the knob out of her head. The plastic looks pretty thick. And this was in there as well. I guess, I guess I pulled her tonsils out or is that supposed to be her giggle box? Oopsie. Oh my god. Okay, so let me see. Do I have any tools out here? I am so sorry, y'all. Lord have mercy. Well, one thing's for sure the original Nutcracker Barbie did not have that problem. But we are not living in 1999. As Prince did a song of. I'm looking here in my thing of paints. By the way, um, next week, the Selena Molina dolls will be arriving. So that means, yes, everyone is really waiting to see, like, Safira's version. Because hers is going to look a geisha. Don't worry, have your outfit and everything set aside. So, yes, we will have to... Well, she's going to have the red lips like a geisha. And I do hope you post her up and all over your Instagram, Facebook, and, you know, I'll take pictures as well. Oh, Lord. Okay, I don't have a little thingy, but I do. I don't have a little thingy. I don't have a little thingy at all. But I have this. I said adult humor. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to mess this up because I got to stick it back in her hair. I mean, back in her head. <sighs> Thank God. Well, this is good. That is a lot to go up in her head. I guess this is to keep the top of the head from feeling flipsy flipsy. Let me look in there and see what I can see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm Rewinds are $29.99 right now. Where? You're not even telling me, girl. Share with your sister. Okay, I'm, there's, a, there's a lot of plastic. Why is the plastic all around there like that? Dang. They should have took that out. 
Okay, this was not part of the video, everybody. But I'm digging in here because there's a little extra of our head in there. I'm looking to see how it's rooted. Oh, almost can see it. Almost. Oh, is that melted plugs? Ow, damn crown. Oh, sorry, but it, oh, her lips have a little shimmer. I can glam her up with a little blush. Uh, what in the world? Okay, the hair is rooted and it's melted in her head a little. It's kind of melted in her head. Okay, so there you go. I know I don't look like I'm having a frantic pantic episode of manic behavior. <laughs> I do wear a medical bracelet, you know. Give me credit. Um, okay, my paint brushes. These are my new ones. Set them aside. I don't want them getting messed up. So, yeah. But I would be working on, on Brandon Sulfur's. Okay, her neck is cracked. Like, I can't tell that joke. I can't. I have a, it was it was a joke. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> well, I was having a manic episode, so I went back black. Metallic back of oh, metallic neck joints in different colors. Wow. Well see that's what this is. This is just the same kind of plastic they use for shoes or accessories, you know, to, I'm hoping and praying to God I don't crack her neck. Uh, pop, oh, it went back in, no problem. Did not hurt her neck, easy peasy. Thank you. I don't feel like calling Target and saying, oh my God, her head came off. Uh, child, please. I get. I don't need too many replacements. I got enough dolls. Found out eBay is messing with a lot of people. Okay, so I'm gonna fix her while I'm live. I'm fixing her neck. Okay, now here comes the million dollar question: Is she worth seventeen ninety nine? Is she worth the price they're asking on Target.com? Do y'all want me to answer that? Now, do you want me to give you a beautiful lie? Do you want me to give you the ugly truth? That is up to you, whether you want to hear it or not. So there we go. I glued it. I gently wet my finger. I wet my finger off on the floor. Put a little glue on the floor. It's okay. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say no. Well, you don't want me to tell you the truth? Wait, are you saying you don't want me to tell you a beautiful lie? Okay, there you go. Tell I get it. This doll is not worth $17.99. This is a oh my goodness. They had fashionistas that were fully articulated, similar to this, in better clothes, more fashionable. But this doll does come with a brush. Ballet slippers, high heels, a necklace. I'm sorry, but the choker, that thing, that's just not even a necklace to me. Okay, that's just something you throw away. So with the high heels and everything, the wand, this is a $11.99 Barbie doll. So she is $6 overpriced, okay? Period. Enough said. That's it. I love you, Mattel. I do. I really, really do. But I, I know you want some money, but when you give us the quality that MJA is putting out on the store, store shelves, you know, raise the price. Give us more hair. Give us some real fabric clothing. And you know what? It's on. Oh, snap. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I got to glue the other side of her neck. See? 
That's another thing to be careful for. This doll has plastic prongs going into the back of her head to hold it into the box. So if you're going to pull the doll out of it, you will rip her head off. And you will pull this out of her neck. Her neck's going to crack. I mean, my God. Thank goodness I only have one crack. But imagine having two. She's gonna turn out. She's gonna turn out fine. Barbie isn't hurt. Now Barbie's plastic is not as strong as it used to be. That is definitely a fact. Um, you know, I, I I don't know what they're using, but the the older girl definitely hit it on there. Now, she don't have her, these legs are perfect. Now, Mattel did take, I will never forget that video. God, I had them two weird little balls in my head. But no, Mattel did improve the legs, see? This part right here does not come all the way out there like it could stick or hurt you. And then fall off. God, that was embarrassing. The leg just, I was like, what? I'm holding a leg and the rest of the dog just fell on the floor. That was not supposed to happen, but that wasn't my fault. But, you know, the designers, I think they saw that. They made big improvement. I love these legs. I like this body. I wish she had hands like Beauty Secrets Barbie. Very pretty, dainty hands. They would be so gorgeous on this body. Or at least make one similar to it. Um, I do think that Barbie, this joint right here, um, I think that could be done better. Come on now, people. Um, also with this nice thickness here, and then this is like a little twig. This needs to be slightly thicker to match with this. So just a little bit, not too much. And yes, I hand up my... My hand doesn't look like that. So we do need some better hands. Now, I don't mean hands like these. The, these hands are very masculine. Most definitely quite masculine. Um, but anyway, you know what? I got them. I don't, I don't even play with them. And I ask myself now, why did I get those? I thought they would be fun. I'm just not into them. Oh, it was iconic girl. A lot of people saw that video. That was a hundred dollar Barbie doll that I threw behind me. Because I absolutely just, I do not like the Mono Muse body. I like a doll I can play with. Now, if that body had had rubber bending legs, we would have had something going on. This video is not supposed to be about Barbie in the Nutcracker and her broken head. But then that wasn't supposed to happen. It's not my fault. I did not manufacture this doll. I have, I had absolutely no part in the design of this doll. I had no part of designing her, creating her, marketing her. The marketing people were cheap. And they were, they just didn't want to pay employees enough to make the doll better. And so that's something that happens in the factory, not at the company, the, you know, Indonesia. Indonesians did this. The ones who work over there. Okay. Oh my God. This Barbie is Indonesian. So we have an Indonesian Barbie and the Nutcracker. Quite lovely, isn't she? Lots of lights are shining on her. But yeah, she is available at Target.com. Lord, and look, she has space right there. So you can actually just pop her open like that. Oh, my God. And literally just take her out of the package for free. And just, okay, I'm not condoning that. Don't do that. That just happened to come out of my mouth that way. I said what I was thinking. I realize now I really shouldn't say things that I'm thinking. They made these dolls so easy to steal now. I mean, for an $18 doll... And what we have is a piece of plastic that's glued onto a piece of cardboard. And all of these dolls have a breathing space down here. I mean, really, someone's just gonna go like this, pop it open, pop it open, and then just take the little fingers and pop the little plastic thingies and 
steal the Barbie doll. That's bad. I just told you how to get a free Barbie. Oh, that's illegal. Don't do that. You will get in trouble. Okay? So don't do it. You pay for your dolls. I see too many. I've seen ones have been swapped. So um, for this particular one, what I find interesting is, yes, I'm giving you a review. It is not trying to discourage you from buying her because she's a beautiful Barbie doll. I love her. I don't love her enough to buy 20 like I did Barbie X number three. Can't wait to get her car. But this arm, look how see that's done. And this one is a lot, it's a space right there. And you can see that little bitty twiggy thingy. The little bit not a twig, but might as well be one. I'm trying to push it back up into her arm. And it's just not working. I need to eat something. I can't do it. <gasps> Barbie, what did you do without your head? Ah, that's why she had a hiccup. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm blowing her. Because I need my Gorilla Glue to dry. Yeah, look. Now, the noise you just heard, that came from Muxafira. That was her message me saying, Did it! So, the ones of you who just got an earache, that's why she said she's sorry. It, she did that. So. Anyway. Um, I like the, uh, yeah, I, who cares? I like the dog. Let me see the body. Oh, Amber, you got such a dirty mind, girl. So the body says 2015. I'm passing time to shield dry so I can put her head back on where it belongs. Made in Indonesia. And she has a little silver. Now they put silver paint on her back, but yet they could not have made this out of metallic silver. They could not have made a crown out of metallic silver. Give us some realness here. I mean, $18? Come on now. And you know, this is what a $10 fashionista would cost. Oh, no, I take that back. Used to cost. Now that's about almost $10, and they can't even bend their legs. Uh, they can't do anything but just stand there and look at you like you're crazy. Which a lot of you probably do that to me as it is, so. Not sure watch wig I'm going to use out of those three wigs. I'm sorry, I just had a light bulb with a question mark. You know I love you, child. I like the sleeves, a little poofiness. Have I did see the gift set. The movie has a brunette kin. The original had rooted hair, articulated bent arms, rubber bending legs. He was made of more substance, more weight. And then we get this blonde can that has a crown with plastic pegs going into his plastic painted head. And if you take the crown off, you're going to have holes in the head. Um... Completely hollow plastic, no bendable legs. Definitely overpriced. Ah, you're doing your first custom doll. Awesome. So, I'm sorry, everyone, but you know what? It's good it happened here on my review. This way, that. So, listen to me. When you get your doll, okay, like this, when you open her, open her from the bottom. Yeah, it's just going to pop right out. Pop right. This is just look. See, it's coming loose right there. That's it. Just shove it off. Pop it off. When you get ready to take her out of the packaging, there is a plastic band, plastic band, not rubber band, plastic, on each ankle. Use little scissors to cut them off. There's a thin one going around her waist. Cut that one off. There's also one around her wrist up here. There's also one in the back of her head. Now, 
Do not grab your Barbie doll and try and pull her out like this or you will break her head off and have a cracked neck and, you know, you're, you're, it'll just be, I'm trying to prevent you from making a mess. Um, the, this is cardboard, so I'm thinking that gently, no, don't try to use scissors, you will cut her hair. Just grab her head like this, you know, the head here and this behind the neck. So you're grabbing her like this at the head and then snack, pull it off. Well, grab the cardboard and pull it and then find the little plastic pegs and try and cut them without cutting her hair or just leave them in her head. Because my Barbie, she has the peg. I'm going to show it to you. Oh God, that's bothering me. So there it is. There's a little plastic thingy right here in her head. See? I, yeah, see, these will break your Barbie doll. They really do. But it's to keep the doll's head in place during shipment so that when they put her on the toy shelves, she looks beautiful and in place. So, I'll show you this, okay? Just take your pliers, grab it. Um, girl, be, okay, there we go. See, ta-da, I pulled the whole thing out. There you go. So pull that out. Oh, it was like a, I saw on YouTube how they pulling stuff out of people's faces. That's what it made me think about. Where's a brush? Girlfriend, I need to wet your hair with something. No, I don't use scissors. And I try to tell you a way so that you do not cut your doll's hair pliers. So if you're a kid, just wait till you get home. Have mom, dad, whoever. And if you're already grown, just grab a little pair of pliers and pull that out the back of the head so you don't cut Barbie's hair. Okay, this looks good. Oh, shoot. I done made it pop. Oh, damn it. I done popped it open again. What is the deal? This is like new. Where, uh, how much glue have I got to stick in your neck to keep it closed? What kind of plastic is this? It's got to be recycled. It's got to have petroleum because this stuff usually bonds instantly and it's both sides of her neck. Dang. I am probably going to have to call and get a replacement. I don't have a choice. I'm trying to fix it myself. It's not working. She's already got some glue on the sides. That's already dried and feels good, but I don't know. I don't know what kind of plastic it is. I don't know if it's recycled water bottles or something. Don't worry. Oh my God, it's the whole thing. I think it got worse. Mm -mm. Well, pretty much usually with Target, they just don't even have me send it back. They just let me keep it. In which, this is not cute. I don't like doing this. Who, who does this belong to? I have no idea, but I'm using it to wipe the glue, so whatever. It'll dry clear. You're welcome, Barbara. Yeah, to get the little plastic things, there you go. Just some little pliers. It can be any kind of pliers, nose pliers, regular pliers. As long as it's something that can grab that little plastic plug, you can just pull it right out. I'm trying to get it to dry and stay dry. I'm using the best super glue, Posse Bale. And as it end up gluing both sides, I can't even take a picture of this right now. Darn it. Ugh, how much glue do I have to do to glue her cracks? Seriously, I shouldn't have to do this. I'm blowing so the glue goes inside part of the neck. And I'm just wiping it with another doll's outfit piece. Ta-da! I know Pinky doesn't need this. Okay, girl, this is taking a lot longer than expected. Anyway, I'm calling them up about it. So, I'm going to show you how to open your doll now. Oh, my God, after 40 minutes, now I'm going to show you how to open it. 
Can you hear? No, the heat is not going to be your friend, even when trying to glue. Oops. Sorry, let me check this out. What is it? What is that? Oh, that's Crystal. That's at Walmart. I shouldn't have said that. Janet Ward. Oh my God, I got a ton of emails. Okay, we're back. So I'm just going to show you how to open your door. I was going to get one in the package, but I don't have to call them about that. So anyway, Target is good. Look at this. See this? <laughs> That's how fast. Just like that. Just think. It doesn't hardly really make any noise except on here. So here she is. Just like that. That's simple. Um, You can use any kind of scissors. I'm going to, I'm just going to grab the first ones I see. Okay. So here's a plug right there. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, that was, yeah, that's it. Up here at the wrist right there. Cut. Okay. Here at her, um, the other arm, a little piece of plastic hoop. Look at that. See, Barbie is already disconnected. Did you see how fast I did that? I hope shoplifters don't get any ideas. Oh, her arms are much stiffer than that one. Let me see. How are the wrists? Hmm. I mean the elbows. Yep, elbow has a little gap. Okay, she's doing a little ballet squat squat thing. I don't know. To me, it looks like she has to use bathroom. And she's in a hurry to get there. Now, there's some rubber bands, but yes, there are two plastic plugs in the back of her head, okay? There are two ways to do this. You can hold the plastic, go right here where the two prongs are, hold your Barbie's head, two fingers behind the head, grab her like this, okay? Two fingers behind the head, okay? Then the other one's rubbing around, grabbing at the top, and pull the plastic cardboard, ta-da! And the plastic prongs remain inside the packaging. Therefore, they are not in your doll's head and they're not sticking out. I guess I should have done that from the beginning. Oh, her head. Wow, girl. I guess they didn't melt it enough. Oh. Girl. For real? Why has it got to be like that? I'm looking at it. The, her eyes look really good. Her eye, her arms are fine. You know, she can be like a soldier, hold up her wand. I'll be like this here and say, I don't know, something from Toy Story that Woody would say. I don't know. Um, her ballet slippers are very cute. They're detailed. Um, even the very back, quite detailed. Very cute. She's, she's still a cute Barbie. Honestly, she really is. I mean, I've seen worse at this price range. Um, the hair. Girl, make sure you go looking. Because, honey, remember, this is not a Rainbow High doll. Because the hair is not thick. Um, maybe on here it looks long, but trust me, when you're playing with this with your fingers, this hair should have been down here. The hair should have been down here, for sure. I mean, did they make the doll's hair long anyway? Look at it hanging. Look at all these strings. Look at all these strings dangling right there. Ugh. Her hair is coming out. Mm, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I did not do this. I did not produce her. I'm looking at her head. I love the thing is he did an amazing job with how they root the hair because it's full holes everywhere for parting and everything. That's great. But it needs to be thicker. You need to make the plugs a little bit thicker. You need to put more hair into the plugs. But also, Barbie, you got your hair play Barbies, but I'm sorry, I'm not buying a Barbie with long hair with half her head shaved. You know, if I want, if I want to do that, I just buy a ball headed doll. I don't like that. Some people do, some people don't. 
They should have gave us a choice, but her hair should have been down here. It should have been much longer for $18. You should have gotten some hair play to go with this girl and it should have been a little bit definitely thicker. Um, the eyes are gorgeous. Oh, I forgot. I have to cut off the light. Seriously, camera? There. See? Beautiful eyes. The eyes are not crooked. The eyes are not like that. So, her eyes are really pretty. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see the new blonde extra as well. Who? What? I don't know, but the doll is pretty. She's still worth getting. If you like Barbie, if you like the Barbie fashionistas, she will be a good doll to blend with your Barbie fashionistas because of the hair. So you can mix match outfits on her and just put this outfit on a different doll. But, honey, the heels are worth it. You know what I'm saying? I love the heels. You can put them on anyone else. Redress this girl in a beautiful Barbie extra outfit. She will look just as good. She will be look amazing in that. Well, no, yeah, this one. So the dolls are beautiful regardless. Which necklace? Oh, I took her necklace off. This particular doll, that is her necklace. But she does come, oh, where's the cardboard? So here we are. We have two, a pair of high heel shoes, another chandelier necklace, and we have a brush. I thought there was something else. No, there is not. So yes, you get a brush and high heels and this. Now, this particular necklace, oh God, no. I mean, uh, just throw that one away and get the chandelier necklace out. Might as well open it. I mean, she's open or it's not like I can put it back, period. Okay. There. Oh. So here she is with her chandelier necklace. Okay, your crown is pink. Your necklace is a chandelier white necklace. This is just doesn't make any sense. This should have been metallic silver. And honey, this just should have been something to extend on your crown. See? It looks better. No, it don't. Okay, that is just not happening. Ugh, the original Nutcracker's necklace was metallic. It was pretty, glamorous, I guess. Something ain't right over there. Wait a minute. We are at the end of 2021. Her box has 2020 right there. I'm wondering if this doll was supposed to have been released before Christmas last year. Because that's 2020. Yeah, the box is 2020. This doll was probably supposed to be, ah, uh, we had C-O-V-I-D, and there was a huge supply, so oh, well, they figured, well, we're too late now. We're in March, so we can't release her, so put her in the warehouse and wait till next year. Yeah. Yeah, the other, the other necklace is prettier, but her hair is very quite, it looks thick on camera, but it's not. It really isn't, but it's, um, I have the older Nutcracker Barbie. I have one because I bought a doll show, $25, and that was with the gift set with the book. So her hair just, to me, is just not thick enough. But it is thick enough to do, and we can put it up into a bun. Wait, let me retwist it, and then float it around, double that over, and then boom, Barbie has her hair in a nut. Do ta da. Okay, stuff some of that inside. Yeah, so there's Barbie with the bun. She doesn't have a bun in the oven. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I had to make a joke of it somehow. So as you can see where the lavender is, there's the pink and the lavender. I mean, this hair is beautiful colors, but it should have been longer and thicker, longer and thicker. The face, I love the dolls, the color they chose for skin color. I like it that she's not pale as a ghost. Oh yeah, the original one did have thin hair too, but this one should have had the long curls to go with it. So yeah, um, and the outfit should be more elaborate. You're definitely not getting much for the price that you're paying for sure, but marketing, that's their problem. They did this. Um, screen printed type fabric here. Which one's got it? Let me see the one with the broken neck. Let me see her instead. So, yeah. Oh, it doesn't rip. The good thing is this hair doesn't rip. Um, so that's a positive. You got two layers of, um, okay, this is sewn. That's good. So this tool is sewn onto, oh, that's very soft. Oh, I like the fabric right here. This is nice and soft. They should have made this out of the fabric underneath. Okay, so that's cool. Barbie's ready to go dancing with the stars. Okay, no, they never made a Barbie like a bun in the oven. That was Midge and Happy Family, okay? So let's not get that mixed up. That was Mitch. Barbie never got pregnant. Barbie never had a family. Barbie never had a husband. Now Barbie has been to the altar in a wedding dress many times because they were sold that way. But obviously something went down because Barbie and Ken had to dress up to get married so many times, but they never got married. So apparently somebody opposed the wedding or they just decided we'll wait and just keep buying clothing to get married in and we just won't get married what are the what are what are the other options right but anyway barbie the nutcracker she's beautiful target.com 17.99 she would make a beautiful gift um for anyone for any anyone who loves barbie if you love these colors i do apologize um for the head issue that was my fault so yeah beautiful hair so i do apologize for that yeah cali girl don't can and what happened with that nothing and those were good dolls but then they gave her a balloon head oh i remember that big head that big balloon head i, I like this face mold but apparently barbie's gonna be getting a new oh she did barbie extra no yeah, Barbie extra, but then also looks, Barbie looks. But no, she's pretty. The face is pretty. Um, so she make a cute gift for kids, especially little kids. Or for all of you adult collectors that like Barbies and you like these bodies, like Barbie extra. she make a cute addition to go with the Barbie extra dolls to redress. So my rating one star to five stars i'm actually i'm gonna give her four stars the only reason i give her four stars is because she's six dollars overpriced yeah and well if i didn't did the hair then i would have gave her four stars hair takes off another so three stars because the hair should be longer and thicker Okay, it should be longer and thicker. Um, and yeah, definitely longer, thicker hair. And mm -hmm. but the good note is she has ballet slippers. Um, and this is just not a dress for a ballerina. Um, the wand. I don't know. She's just not as glamorous. Um, to be honest, yeah, they just didn't give her enough eyelid to give her some little makeup. She should have not glitter, but shimmer makeup. A little eyeshadow, a little more blush. You know, give her some rosy cheeks. 
Barbie and a Nutcracker. So why does she have a butterfly tiara? Okay, I did not design her, but she's cute. She's worth getting. She'll probably go on sale by Christmas. Okay, thank you for joining. I love you guys. And, um, okay, heifer that keeps mess that kept um, emailing, emailing Ellen. Please do go back under the rock you crawled from up under because, girl, that was just ridiculous. Ellen is not my mother. Ellen is not my aunt. Ellen is too busy working, okay? All I do is paint prototypes and I don't do all of them. So stop it. If I have a little downfall, why don't you call my therapist? Or email her or send smoke signals. Because you have no reason to be contacting Ellen. Okay? I, I'm going to call your name out next time. All right? So that's your warning. Okay? All right? So stop trolling. And stop being a pain in the butt and making things worse. Oh, by the way, it didn't make things worse. Because I got notification. Because out of courtesy, just saying, Selena, you know... People are calling me about stuff that you post that deals with your personal life. And I have nothing to do with that. So I don't know why they're messaging me. She told me all of the emails that were sent her from the same person. And Ellen is like, I have nothing to do with Selena's YouTube. Selena is reviewing dolls. Um, that's it. Selena reviews V.I.E. Dolls, Selena Reviews Barbie, Selena Reviews American Girl, all kinds of dolls. I have no affiliations with them companies, okay? They don't pay me to advertise because this is a personal blog. This is not a promotional product blog. So, in, so in case you're watching and see it, I'm speaking slow in case you're a bit slow so you can understand. Okay? Ellen is not my mother. So don't need to message her. Now, back to Barbie. I bought her for $17. No, I didn't. I didn't pay the full price for her. Okay? I did get a discount. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, y'all. Come back, Nagy Hill. I had to leave a little craziness in there.